Hello, Zachary Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to patch your Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer for third party themes. Now, recently, I was asked by a bunch of people to do an updated video of this. So today, I'm doing that. Now, if you've already have a patched computer and installed third party themes before, this video is going to be very basic and really no point of even watching. If you have a friend who is interested in getting into this kind of stuff, this is a perfect video to share with them because I'll be going through the very basics of installing and patching your computer for third party themes. To get started, what you want to do is head over to the link in the description below. This is a software called Ultra UX Theme Patcher. This software will patch your computer for third party themes. It supports Windows XP all the way up to Windows 8. So pretty much any computer in the last decade. So what this program will do is it backs up the original files in your system, just the three files that it has to patch, and then it puts the new ones in that already modified. This allows you to have third party themes. So if you want to do this, all you're going to do is download this, the software by using the download button right there. And what happens when you download it, you get this nice little program right here. Simply open it up and go through the install process. So accept the terms and conditions. I agree. And go ahead and patch it. Now, my computer's already patched, so it doesn't do anything at all. But yours will take about a minute and it'll go through, set a system restore point. That way, just in case something happens, you can go back in time and undo the changes. And I'll go ahead and patch your computer. Now, once your computer is patched, you click next. And it'll ask you if you want to reboot or reboot later. Because mine's patched, it's just saying finish. But what you want to do, though, is immediately reboot the computer. I'm going to do that to my computer and come back to you guys when I'm done. All right, so we're back with our rebooted computer and we're good to go. Now our computer is patched and ready to support third party themes. The next step is simply getting a theme that you like and applying it. Now there's many different places to search for themes. Simply searching on Google will get you a lot. You can also go into my channel and if you go to my channel, you can either look at the Windows 7 or Windows 8 playlists and there you'll see a bunch of themes for Windows 7 or Windows 8. Also in the description below, I'll include some links to some good areas. Anyway, though, now I'll show you guys how to install a theme. So most themes work the same, what 95% of them. Some are different, some install themselves automatically, but most themes will show up like this. So as you can see, we have this folder. So I'm gonna extract it to the desktop to show you guys what's inside. So this is how most themes are gonna work. There's gonna be a system folder. They're gonna have a readme maybe, uh, a PNG of what they, how they look. A start orb, so if you have some start orbs, remove icon, and a themes folder. Now some themes are different, some themes won't have any of this, they'll have just themes folder, some won't have start orb, it depends on the theme, but they all work generally the same. So now I'm going to show you guys how to install this theme. So I'll have a link to this theme by the way in the description below as well. So what you want to do is simply open up this theme folder and pan it to your side here. And what you want to do is open up this PC or my computer, depending on whatever you're on, and put it on the other side of the screen so it's nice and easy to navigate. Then what you want to do is head over to the C drive of your computer, the local disk. Then what you want to do is head over to the Windows folder, then scroll down to the R section, you see resources, open that up. Then open up the themes folder, and I simply paste in the theme files. So you're gonna to need to paste in a dot theme file and a theme folder. So look through at your theme for those two files. So right here I have the dark cyan dot theme and dark cyan folder. We're simply gonna move them over to this themes folder here. And you may need administrative permissions to do this, but click yes. And there you go, you are good to go. Now to apply this theme, what you wanna do is simply right click the desktop and click personalize. And you'll notice now you'll have the dark cyan theme under installed themes. Click on it. And there we go. We have this nice looking theme now. Now that's how you simply install a theme guys. So if you guys wanna uninstall this theme, there's two different ways of doing this. The one I suggest is simply just clicking on your previous theme and everything gets reverted. And then you can, can of course go back to where your themes folder and delete it from there if you really don't want it anymore. But simply unselecting it will unselect the theme 
and you're good to go. And of course, if you ever want it again, click on it again and supply it again. So that's it guys for this video. This is a simple um, demo of installing and patching your computer for third party themes. Hope you guys did enjoy. I tried to make this as easy as possible. So if it was, definitely leave a like. If you have any friends who think that we're really interested in this kind of stuff, share it with them. And besides that guys, thanks for watching. It's the Hacker Triple 7 and I'm signing off.